You know what? We're all super busy, right? right? So, you know what? We thought we'd take this opportunity this week to, you know, kind of focus in on anything and everything that we could find to help make your life just a little bit easier. Yeah, we're going to get started because we have found some. We tested these uh, these over the weekend. It was yeah. kind of fun trying to see if we could even simplify our own lives. We found a few simple and quick tricks that can really save you time and money in your busy life. That's right. Some worked and some didn't. But let me tell you what did work. First of all, um, this is just kind of a neat idea. This is obviously a can of soda pop. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but if you ever have this problem with your soda pop, I always like to drink mine with a straw. Well, you find that the straw always floats up yes. to the the top, right? How annoying. Well, all you do is you turn the little tab around and you stick your straw through it and it'll anchor your straw down and it won't float up anymore. And it works? It works. I love that. It works. <laughs> and here's something else that worked. And this was actually my favorite. Then once you're done with the can, right, take this little tab, save this tab right here. They twist off fairly easily. Okay. And then behind me, I have what represents a closet, right? So how about this? You take some of your, your clothes, and this is how you can make room in your closet, and you take the little tab, just like this, and you add, you put it on the hanger, and twist it around, and then you could put another outfit right I through that. I love that idea. Oh, I just it. lost it. Thank you. Then you go like this. Yeah. Add this to your closet, and look. You've got like all this extra space now. You can go shopping. That is so cool because they make <laughs> hangers like this, which are very costly. I know. So this is so inexpensive. So totally worked. What you got? All right. So okay, <laughs> we talked about how funny this was. Do you have one of these around the house? A cassette tape. I, I have a ton of cassette tapes. So you know you don't use the tapes anymore because you're likely on you know DVDs or whatever. So here <laughs> you go. You take the the case, and it's now a little cute iPhone or I, cell phone holder, right? So now you can talk you hands can, free you on your desk. You can talk hands free. You can even use this as a charging console because these are kind of expensive. So you're not using the tapes anymore, but you certainly can repurpose your cassette case. I love, I love it. it. I love and it. of course, drinking water. We're talking about water at Disneyland and how much we need it over the weekend. But this is a fun way if you're not a big water drinker, maybe you haven't been drinking water uh, that often and you want to get started. This is a really fun way to put the time at what point you should be having certain amounts. So for instance, eight ounces by eight o'clock in the morning. You want to make sure you're around 20 ounces at 10 a.m. And this can really be as much or as little as you want. Maybe yeah. this is eight, maybe this is 8.30. You know, right. it depends on how much water you drink. But if you're just getting into drinking a lot of water, put your time stamp on here so you can kind of tell when you're supposed to be drinking what you're supposed to be drinking. And it's a the day. visual cue, it's which a visual I cue. absolutely You go, wait love. a minute, it's noon and I haven't had my 16 ounces yet. There you go. Put All it right. right on top of your water bottle. Loved it, and it'll work. Okay, this is another great idea too. How many of you have like wrapping paper that's Tons. all unrolling and it's over in your closet and it's making a mess? Well, here's a great idea. You take a this was a paper towel holder. I cut it in half, or you can use a toilet paper roll holder. You cut it right down the middle with a pair of scissors and go like this. Voila! And it anchors down. Your wrapping paper, so you don't have a mess in your closet I love anymore. That idea. I love that idea. Okay, so how many of you have candles? I have a lot of candles around the house. I love, love, love candles. And when the wick gets really low, the candle is low down there, you're in there trying to light it, you could burn your fingers. Find some spaghetti noodles. Light the spaghetti noodle. Okay, it's inexpensive, it's cheap. You light Everybody's the end. got more. Yeah, light the end of a spaghetti noodle. This now becomes, I have to keep doing it a few times. There we go. And this is an inexpensive way to light your, <laughs> or you can just do it this way. I'm well, about maybe to start this a fire. One, what do we? What do yeah, we? Yeah, we think? talked about this one. I this might be a dud because I tried it earlier and it worked okay, but it took a while. Yeah. So if you're in a hurry, you might just want to go out and get one of these. It might be worth. But it, if you're but in a hurry and you can't and you don't have one of those long right, nose, this might be a dud. So there you go. Hmm. We tried it a couple of times. I have to say, these were things that were simple tricks, but it may not be worth it. So yeah, yeah. It might just be worth paying the extra money getting one of these. <laughs> uh, true with story. A long wick. Well, you know what? We actually have a whole bunch yeah. more ideas coming up. We, um, they're they're Terrio and and Susan C tried, true, and tested. Yeah, so, so we far. hope you stick around for that. More tricks throughout the morning.